whether it's a, a driver behind the wheel of a car or an air traffic controller trying to land an airplane, if they're wearing a headset, there's a good chance it was made by my next guest's company, Plantronics. It's the leading designer, maker, and marketer of lightweight headsets. And Kenneth Kanapan is the president and CEO, and he joins us from Mountain View, California. Kenneth, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me, Pim. Uh, Kenneth, let's start by talking about this whole idea of what is described as unified communications inside of a company. What is the whole concept of unified communications? What does that mean? Well, it's really all about tying together all the different devices and communications links that you use to make things easier for a person. So right now, a lot of people have a cell phone, sometimes a business and personal one. They're using their computer for email or for instant messaging, and they're using their landline phone. And so you have three different places. You might have to check for messages, three different ways to reach people, and that's not very natural. It's not very convenient. It's not very intuitive. So how does Plantronics play into this whole idea of unified communications? Well, a couple of different ways. First of all, we attached all those different devices. So we can give you one headset that allows you to use, for example, the personal computer to make phone calls or to do video calls. And at the same time, you can use that same headset and you can be attached perhaps to your cellular phone or to your traditional landline phone. Um, so we work with all the different vendors of unified communication systems, but we also add to that total solution. Now, explain a little bit about uh, Plantronics' uh, business right now. What are you seeing in terms of enterprise purchases? Uh, are you seeing growth? Well, this is a, a time of year when I, I'd say, you know, late December, earlier January, where we're always kind of wondering what will the new year bring. And so we don't have a read on that yet. But I will say that over the course of the last year, we clearly saw that we had hit a trough within the United States. Things began to stabilize. Well, we saw later on a trough within Europe and stabilization. And we were seeing continued growth in Asia. So we think that we're at a, a fairly firm setting. And what we don't know yet is how strong will the recovery turn out to be this coming year. Uh, Kenneth, can you speak a little bit about uh, government and legislative action having to do with people using, let's say, their headsets uh, while they're driving? Is this an issue for the company? Well, I think it's a, a major issue and opportunity. I think that, uh, you know, uh, public officials are rightly focused on, uh, you know, safety issues. When you look across the globe, most countries, particularly in Europe, have hands-free driving laws in place. Uh, you know, we had an early law in the United States in New York and then followed by New Jersey and Connecticut. And when California ultimately adopted the hands-free law, uh, the Public Policy Institute of California did a detailed study of every actual driving record in New York uh, pre and post uh, the adoption of the hands-free law. And they determined actually that about 60 percent of the fatalities uh, were decreased as a result of that hands-free law. You know, there's a variety of different um, things, and it's a very complex topic, but, but having said that, it is a legitimate matter for public policy. It's kind of odd in the United States where you have individual state laws, you know, being passed and individual city laws rather than a nation, nationwide law. Uh, last question for you, Kenneth. This having to do with the sale of Altec uh, Lansing completed in October. Uh, what was the strategy behind the sale? Well, back to your earliest question, you know, we talked about unified communications, and one of our biggest challenges historically was a lot of people aren't on the phone a lot, and all of a sudden with unified communications, if you're using the computer at all for a voice call, you need to have a headset, and uh, there is no private audio I.O. that you can use if you're out in a cube or an open plant office. So for us, as a leading provider of headsets, this represented a huge opportunity. So we wanted to focus entirely on that opportunity. All right. I want to thank you very much, uh, Kenneth Kenapan. He is the uh, CEO of Plantronics.